Yo, 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 how y'all doing, man? My name is Kevin Brown, and you watching Bedtime Stories. I got a book that just, I don't know, man, it made me happy, man, just from looking at the cover, man. It's a girl, you know what I'm saying, and she, she's just outside riding on her bike, man. The clouds are above her, the sky is blue, and it reminded me of today, man, because when I woke up this morning and I opened my blinds, man, the sun was shining, the sky was blue, you know what I'm saying, the clouds were floating, it was just beautiful outside, and it made me feel real good, man, just like I know this book is gonna do for me, man, I know this book gonna make me feel good, and it's gonna make you feel good too, man, so y'all know what to do, man, go get comfortable, man, with your shoes, your snacks, you know what I'm saying, your drinks, with your cousins, call up your, your best friend, tell everybody, that we about to read Sally Jean, the Bicycle Queen. Let's do this, y'all. Sally Jean, the Bicycle Queen, written by Kari Best, pictures by Christine Davenier. When Sally Jean Sprocket was one years old, she sat in a seat on Mama's bike and watched the world go by. Flowers and trees, pigeons and kites, helicopters and clouds, and the round of Mama's back. Hi, she said to the big kids on their bikes. When Sally Jean turned two, Granny got her a tricycle with streamers that swished and horn that went on on. She watched ants and spiders, caterpillars and bees, and two blue knees that pumped up and down. Hi, she said to the big kids on their bikes. Then she turned four and Papa found her a yard sale bike with two small wheels that hugged the ground. Sally Jean watched baby carriages and lawnmowers, squirrels and poodles and pedals with reflectors that went round and round. Hi, she said to the big kids on their bikes. When she was five, the little wheels came off and Mama held on while Sally Jean wobbled, then learned to pedal fast. Soon Mama let go and Sally Jean was off. Wait for me, she called to the big kids on their bikes. Sally Jean practiced going up the hill and she practiced coming down. She zoomed across fields and boomed over bridges, cut sharp corners and skidded when she stopped. Her fingers knew their places on the handlebars and her feet fit the pedals like two snap together blocks. Sally Jean and her bike became such good friends that she named it Flash. I can't just call you bike, she said, and then she sang. I'm a plane, I'm a train, I'm a girl on a horse. I'm Sally Jean, the bicycle queen, and my bike is Flash, of course. Then she was six, and Flash's seat needed raising. Mama showed her what to do with a push and a pull and a hit of a hammer. You're growing like a dandelion in spring, she said as Sally Jean watched, and soon Sally Jean was singing. I can pop a willy, I can touch the sky, I can pedal backwards, I can really fly. I'm Sally Jean, the bicycle queen, just me, myself, and I. When Sally Jean turned seven, the handlebars needed raising. Papa showed her what to do with a left and a right and a twist of a wrench. Sally Jean liked the way she and Flash got bigger together. Sally Jean sang while she washed the wheels and sang while she shined the spokes. Sally Jean was so busy singing that she never noticed how big she was growing. By the time she turned eight, her knees bumped the handlebars and her shoes scraped the ground. She had to walk Flash up the hill for the very first time. Sally Jean tried to raise Flash's seat. She tried to raise Flash's handlebars, but there was no more room for raising. What do I do now? She asked. You can ride my bike when I'm at my trumpet lesson, said Stanley. You can sit while I pedal, said Andrew the Giant. You can pedal while I sit, said Murray. No thanks, said Sally Jean. A bicycle queen needs to have her own bike. Sally Jean tried skating places, but she always fell. She hopped and skipped and jumped and she ran, but nothing felt as good as riling. I just have to get another bike, she said. I wish I could help, said Papa, who needed new eyeglasses. Wait till next year, said Mama, who had to pay the dentist. But Sally Jean couldn't wait. 
What do I do now? She asked. Her neighbor, Mrs. Metal, had an idea. I could sure use your help in my yard, he said. And I do have lots of things you might like for your new bike. So every day after school, Sally Jean helped Mr. Metal organize his trunk. And when she was finished, she closed a basket, a light, and a can of sparkly paint. But as she sat on the steps in front of her house and watched little kids and big kids and all kinds of bikes, Sally Jean wondered how she would ever get a bike of her own. What do I do now, she asked. Fix my flat, said Murray. I can do that, said Sally Jean. Then she thought about what else she could do. The very next day, Sally Jean put up a sign. Pedal pushers everywhere. Have fun. Learn to fix your own bike. Reasonable rates. See Sally Jean, the BQ. And before long, she was in business. But by the end of the summer, she earned only enough money for two measly tires. What do I do now, Sally Jean wondered. She sat in the tree and looked all around and saw blue jays and sparrows, woodpeckers and crows, and some rusty old wheels she never noticed before. She saw buses and trucks, motorcycles and cars, and dusty old pedals she couldn't ignore. The bicycle queen had an idea, she said, jumping down. But Sally Jean's heart sank as she spun the floppy pedals and felt the dried out tires. She sat there for a long time, and then she started single. I cycle, you cycle, recycle, junk. That's my girl, Mr. Meadow, with a smile. Her friends didn't smile when they saw what she was carrying. That thing's ready for the dump, said Stanley. What a hunk of junk, said Andrew the Giant. It's all broken up, said Murray. But Sally Jean said, have no fear. The bicycle queen is here. At first, everything looked hopeless, but Sally Jean rolled up her sleeves anyway and got to work. And every afternoon after that, she worked a little more and a little more and a little more. And so finally, she had a bike. Sally Jean even gave her bike a new name, Lightning. I just can't call you bike, she said. But something didn't feel right until Sally Jean figured out just what it was and fix that too i'm a plane i'm a train i'm a boy up on a horse i'm a maury bing the bicycle king and my bike is flash of course at last sally jean felt like singing again i can ride and whistle and i can fix a flat i can race a red bird i'm faster than a cat i'm sally jean the Bicycle Queen. What do you think about that? The end. Oh, uh, see, I knew that book was going to make me happy. Well, actually, make me happier because I was already happy before I even read the book. But yeah, man, that book made me happier and it taught me a nice lesson, man. It reminded me of something, man. And that is, you can't be afraid to let things go, man. Everything in life has a start and an end, a begin and an expiration date, man. When it's time to let something go, let it go, man. And just hold on to the memories, man. Memories last forever, man. Even when you have to let things go, remember that you can always just go back in your head and think about all the good things you've had with that thing or that person. You feel me? And also, just like Sally, you can give whatever it was that you love to someone else and let them have their own memories from it. And then you can move on to something even better, something even bigger. You feel me? So yeah, man, never be afraid to let things go, man. Not even people, man. No one in your life will live forever. None of us do. So when it's time for someone to go, let them go, man. You can cry. You can be a little sad. But you have to remember all the memories you have from that person, man. Never be afraid to let anything or any person go, man. Everything has a beginning and an end, man. Just cherish the memories, man. But yeah, man, what y'all learned, man? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Put it in the comments. You know what I mean? 
Email me, uh, text me, call me, just let me know some way, somehow, because I need to know, man. Y'all know so much, and I want to learn from y'all, man. Every day, I need to learn something, and I need y'all to tell me right now what y'all learned, man. Come on, man, let me know. And we're going to come back tomorrow night, and we're going to do it again. So, like always, y'all know what to do. Be you, be true, and be back tomorrow morning for the early word. And remember, man, let things go, man. Cherish the memories. <laughs>